Hello there once again, I'm Peter Vaughan and here's another chapter, the name of the day. So the name of today, we're going to use the letter F for male and female and we're going to use Frederick, F-R-E-D-E-R-I-C-K and Felicity, oops, a bit too long there, E-L-I-C-I-T-Y Felicity. Now, when you're looking at names with similar sounding first letters, the people have a lot of qualities that are the same. So Fredericks and Felicities, uh, Francine, or anyone that's name starts with an F will have similar qualities because that's the way you see it coming when you hear the letter F or see a person or a, a car or a boat or something. You see the front end of it first not the back end. So with Frederick then we're going to put the letters underneath each of, sorry, put the numbers under each of the letters. Six, nine, five, four, five, nine, nine, three, and two. Six, five, three, nine, three, nine, two, and seven. With each of these, the letter F has a meaning of its own. Now, it's not like the letter E, which says, I'm going to shove all the stuff that I've, I've got in my past in front of you so you can see it. They seem to be able to offload and sell everything I've talked about. But the letter F has a value of 6. And the number 6 equals the word responsibility. And therefore, they have a lot more care and management skills. So here we've got Frederick. They have these management skills, as does Felicity. And what it says is, I'm responsible for what I'm doing. So therefore, I will give small amounts of information when it was required. I have a lot more to offer you at a different level when we understand what we're doing. And the ground that we're standing on is very open. So they're very open to learning about whatever is underfoot. Every letter is standing on the ground from its shape. It's not up in the air floating around. And this is important when you're looking at every other letter. I'm just going to show you how the letter I is, is supports the heavens and the bottom supports standing on the earth. And when we get to a, a name with the letter I, things happen very quickly to that letter. So every letter is important in its structure, shape and meaning and where it's come from. So we've got responsibility up front with both Frederick and Felicity. Frederick can be called Fred. 695 and 4. And that's 6. Actually, 9 plus 9 is 18, and 6 is 24. Now that comes to 6. Interesting how the Fred is the letter and of F and 6 is its value. Let's add up Frederick to see what we have. 6 and 9, 15, 20. 29, 38, 47, 52, 7. Now, there's an old saying when things are at sixes and sevens, it's almost like chaos, difficulties, unsettling, not working, things just don't fit very well. But have you ever wondered why that term is the way it is and what it means? Just do this for example, just add up. What do you get when you add up 6 and 7? You get the number 13. Yeah, some people have difficulty with that number. Number 13 is not a bad number, it just means plan everything before you have fun. If you don't plan it, then things could happen that's going to teach you a lesson. So, 6s and 7s. So here we've got Fred at 6 and Frederick at 7. This one's the bossy one, this one's the thinker. 7 represents wisdom, the knowledge to think with. So Frederick is a thinker, and at the end of Frederick is the letter K. The letter K, in its capital form, says, although I've got a strong back into my past, I am very open to the heavens for thinking up above, looking at 
what could be, like this, hmm. When I mean, people are thinking, they often put their, their eyes up, they go, hmm. And sometimes, hmm. It's just looking up there. The letter K at the front is open to whatever's ahead. That means they've got a vision and they've, they've ability to see ahead. And at the same time, there's the ground, they can look down and see what's happening under here. So the letter K is the 11th letter of the alphabet. One and one is two. I have spoken about the letter, uh, sorry, the number 11 before, and it represents the balance of two initiatives. I think of, a, of an answer or a solution to a problem, I can evaluate it because I'm checking out what I'm thinking about with that number 11. One and one, although it equals two, to make sure that the details are well looked at, which is where the K comes in. It's a very special letter. One might even say it has the ability to daydream or to invent, as you'll see when we do the names like Kevin or, or Carl with a K. When we're looking at Felicity over here, we're going from a, a person who says, under many areas of my life, five meaning many, it uh, means freedom. I'll give you another way of looking at the five and I'll take it off. When we play noughts and crosses or tic-tac-toe, someone goes and puts an X here and then a person will stop them going and certain, so they'll put a zero there. Or then they'll think, oh, I'm going to put an X here and they put a zero there. Well, that's tic-tac-toe. But when you're looking at numbers, whether you're going and put the number one here and go this way or that way, let's just go down for a moment. One and two and three, follow the same order. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You could do the same thing again, and this time I'm going to do it slightly different just to show you why I'm doing this. Just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or even in another way yet again. What about, oh, it's gone that way up and down, we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Doesn't matter which way you do that, as long as you start in a quarter and keep them sequential. Look at that. Five is always in the middle. And five, this represents a tangible way of looking at what the letter five, or sorry, what the number five means for freedom. It has the ability to physically connect with every other number. Now, I don't use numerology in this sense. Some people do. But it's not the right way to do it because you are now looking at letters and numbers and mixing them up and making it like a soup. You can't really understand it. So this is just a way in which when you look at what I, the work I'm doing, this is a great deal of experience, 44 years to date, in, in working with this material. So then we'll have a look at Felicity with that Y on the end of it. The letter Y says I'm going to learn by making decisions about what I should be doing. It's the 25th letter of the alphabet, 2 and 5 is 7, it means wisdom. So be wise. Look at all the details uh, that, that apply to many things and make the right choice. So they've got to learn to make the right choices. 6 and 5 is 11. Fifth, 11 and 3 is 14. 23, 26, 35, 37, 44. Take this off here. Just checking on that myself. Correct. So that adds up to 44. With that, the 8 is the symbol, or the number, I should say, of authority and the karma. And they are strong. So Felicity is a strong name. And they learn a lot through experiencing things in life by the letter Y, teaching them which decisions to make early and be responsible for it with the front letter here. So they're responsible, they're thinking people with that. And this is a special name because it has a double number, like when we have the 11 or the number 22 or the number 33. Whenever you have a doubling up of number numbers, it becomes strong. Because four says, I like things in a disciplined, structured way. But when you've got two of them, it says, 
doubly structured, doubly uh, putting the effort in and the way I like things done. And because that adds up to the number eight, you got head over, over your, no, mind over matter, uh, head over your body, yin and yang. And uh, you've now got something here which says, I must have balance with what I'm doing. If they don't have balance, they will learn things and crash and burn. It's a hard name to have. But when they've got that much experience in their life, being a 44, they are seriously smart people. So as a person gets older and you meet a Felicity, you're going to see that they in fact have a great deal of mental strength. Well, here we have Fred uh, under there, which is six, Frederick, which is seven, Felicity is an eight, but I don't think I could shorten Felicity to Phil, Fel, <laughs> Fel, 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 doesn't matter. It's not. Felicity. Use a person's full name. You're giving them the strength that they deserve from the name given to them at birth. Well, thanks for watching. Click the like button and even subscribe. And as Peter says, everything is in your name. Hi, Peter here again. If you liked what you saw, I have a full personality profiling service, but not just from your first name, from your whole name and your date of birth. The report covers your hidden skills and talents, what motivates you, how others see you, and much, much more, even an in-depth forecast. Follow the link in the description below for more direction. And again, thanks for watching.